Well, I made it to the spot where I was hoping to go camping this weekend. Unfortunately, I don't think it's gonna be here. There's a really nice camping spot back there. At this point, we got two options. We can keep pushing through the forest road or uh, turn around, get back to cell phone service and find another place to camp. I say we keep pushing through. I'm gonna get the camper set up quick and then I'll show you guys around. This will be a perfect example of how these adjustable legs come in really handy. Yeah, I can definitely tell we're leaning down to that side. Little fine tuning with the camper jacks and we'll be all set. Well, camp is all set up. Let me show you guys something that I found over here though by the picnic table. This could be bad. Originally, I was gonna put the camper right here. Then I noticed that tree. Check this out for no reason at all. Someone's decided to take an ax to this tree and honestly, this could come down on the camper. This could come down on you while you're sitting on the picnic table. Not a good thing. And unfortunately, it's not just one tree. They've been all over at this campsite, swinging their hatchet. That's definitely one thing to keep in mind when you're pulling into a campsite is, am I gonna have any dead trees falling on the camper? And it's windy out today too, about a 20 mile an hour wind, which is why I'm not down by the lake. I'm up on the other side of the sawtooths and um, we got nestled in here pretty good. But if you look at the tops of the trees, definitely moving. It's gonna be a quiet weekend out here, that's for sure. There's no cell phone service. My DVD player quit working a couple of weeks ago. It's gonna be you guys, me, my thoughts. It's all right. You guys want to see something cool? We've got a river on the back side of our campsite. I gotta be super careful not to slip. This water's gotta be ice cold and it's moving really fast. Very rarely do I ever get let down coming to the North Shore. This is such a beautiful spot. The Superior National Forest is huge. There's free camping everywhere. This spot's a good one. A lot of garbage but a little bit it's a full pack there what in the world is that a swing for a troll or something well it doesn't look like a trap or anything but it sure does look odd just sitting out here in the middle of the forest So 
Dover Bay to two harbors, northeast wind 15 to 20 knots with gusts to around 25 knots, evening to 5 to 10 knots after midnight, waves occasionally to 7 feet. Did you guys hear that? Five to seven foot waves out on the lake? That's crazy. And that's one of the reasons why we're tucked here in the woods. And I'm thankful that I have this weather radio because, like I said before, there's no cell service over here. Forms for us right now. We're, you know, we're down some starters. And we have well, I'm thankful we have one station out here. Well, I've been debating on whether or not I'm even going to go outside and have a fire. They're saying that the winds are going to die down tonight. I was going to make hamburgers. They taste good over the fire, but I can always have them on the grill as well. Maybe what I'll do is go outside and cut some wood just to get ahead of the game. If I don't start a campfire tonight, at least we cleaned up the campsite for the next guy. I think I'm gonna go inside and start getting the burgers ready. The plan tonight is to make stuffed hamburgers. Grab this. These and this. Let me show you what I'm thinking. We want to get the hamburgers really thin and a little bit of salt and pepper. Next up, we're going to put some cream cheese in the burger. Mandy gave me these peppers, so we're going to put them to use. We're just going to slice them up nice and thin. We'll put the other patty on top, and then we're just gonna pinch the sides. And this is gonna go on the grill. This one we're gonna fill with just shredded cheese. And then let's do a red pepper. Go get the grill turned on. Now that's what I call a seasoned grill. Get the gas. Here's my plan. I'm gonna cook them at a little bit lower of the temperature. I'm gonna try and cook them so that way the cheese doesn't just boil right out of the hamburger. Wish me luck. been adding a little bit of water in here just to kind of help steam things up. They are looking good. Well, I 
definitely lost some of the cheddar cheese. Let's go bring these inside and see how they look. This we're gonna crank to high and let it burn off. I've got one more thing to cook up before we can call it good. cream cheese. That's going to be delicious. We've got cream cheese, peppers, eggs. This is like breakfast for dinner. It's been a little bit cooler out today and this really hits the spot. I'm going to sleep like a baby tonight. been a long day. I'll catch up with you guys in the morning. That was a really nice walk this morning. There's not much for bugs out here. Well, there's no bugs really. We can still see that there's snow on the ground and the temperatures are still a little cool. This morning though, it's gotta be about 55 degrees. Absolutely perfect. I ran into a forestry worker this morning when I was out on that walk and he explained that this is an abandoned rustic campground. He says it really doesn't get used much. Some of the locals know about it and that's it. He maintains a campground miles down the road and said that he still swings in every once in a while just because people do come here. He says that this is the first time he's seen anybody here yet this year, which is awesome. I found this place on Google Maps. I just zoom in on forestry roads and follow them along until I see a spot that looks like you could pull a truck off. <laughs> This was a winner. The last few weeks I've been getting some questions on some of the stuff I have on the camper. So I think maybe we'll answer those, but first I'm gonna get out of the pajamas. Some people have asked about the steps or torque lift product. They're called the stow and go steps. You guys see me unfold them and fold them up in a lot of my videos. In fact, I did a full install video on the steps as well. They're made by Torque Lift. I absolutely love them. Another question I get a lot is about the front basket and the receiver hitch. The basket I picked up at Harbor Freight, it's a smaller ATV basket. It still has a 500 pound carrying capacity, a two inch receiver on it. The receiver for the truck, I picked that up off of e-trailer. Now I had a few people email me and ask me where I bought it from because they can't find this style when they go online. I went on e-trailer's website and I didn't see it either. I've had a number of people asking me about this fold down ladder table. That's just a fire grate from Walmart. I just bolted a piano hinge onto it and you bolted it to the ladder and put these chains on there to hold it. Works great. Lastly, some people have been asking about this little table that I carry with and I just picked it up at Walmart. It's like a little card table. It folds up really small. It's a sturdy table. It just takes a minute to unfold. So I think it was around 35 bucks and it's a pretty sturdy little table. I weigh 270 pounds and it's holding me up just fine. It all folds down really simple too. Everything snaps into place. Just like that. I 
I still get messages regarding the generator. Some of you guys seen that I had some issues with it last winter, wondering if I ever got it fixed. I haven't. I still have a hard time starting it from inside the camper. It'll turn over, just doesn't start right away. I can always come out here and get it running though. Once I do, generator runs no problem after that. You just gotta play with the throttle linkage. I could probably get it to start now. I'm really not looking forward to pulling this generator out and I think that's probably what's gonna have to happen. Sure, something's just gummed up inside the carburetor, but it doesn't look like it's an easy carburetor to pull out while it's inside the case. It's been about two months since I've been up on the roof. I've been driving through some pretty tight spots. I better take a look at the edges of the camper. It's getting beat up. I do have two layers of Eternabond on there. I might have to go three and then just try and be more careful. One of the things I'd absolutely love to do is put either like a conduit bar, or almost like a rocker guard for the top of my camper, right along the edges. That would help so much when I'm going down these tight forestry roads. At some point this summer, I have to coat this roof though. And I've been doing a little bit of research. I think I'm gonna go with Henry's. I've used Tropical and Henry's in the past. I've heard a lot of good reviews about Henry's, especially on these Arctic Fox roofs. If you guys have any experience with that, definitely let me know. Okay, please don't fall. I'm gonna take the bike up to the top of the sawtooths and show you guys the scenic overlook that it's absolutely breathtaking. And plus I wanna see if that bike will get me to the top of these hills. It looks like I hit the end of the road, but I really wanna go see what's back there. Without a doubt, my new favorite bike. This thing's awesome. That sun is going down quick. It's making it cold, which means we got this video in the bag. You guys have hung out with me all weekend long. <laughs> That's definitely long enough. But before I let you go, I wanted to mention a couple of things because see this week's video makes two years of bringing you guys with on these weekend adventures, which is crazy. Also this week, 10,000 subscribers was reached. Again, mind blowing. The idea that 10,000 people actually intentionally pushed the button and said, yeah, I want to follow that goof blows my mind. Anyways, honestly, thank you very, very much for following me along on these weekend adventures. I enjoy bringing you wet. 
So until next week, be kind, be honest. We'll see you down the road.